Hi Stampers! This is Travis. I am doing an extra video this week and I'll tell you why. The reason is because I have my new product that I pre-ordered from the September to December mini catalog. And also um, I have something else I want to talk about um, first. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is an event I'm going to be having off-site, and it's called Stamp Fest at the Opry. Okay, so can you see that? Okay, this is a full-day event that I'm having at a location in Dittmer, Missouri, and I've never done a full-day event, and it is uh, from 9 to 4, if you, as you can see. It includes food, it includes uh, make and takes, includes some technique sharing, uh, a lot of fun. So if you're interested, it's $45 for the day. It's starting to fill up, so I am limited on seating. Um, it's about a 40 minute drive from where I live. So if you live a little bit further, I guess that would be south, it would be less, but um, it is about a 40 minute drive. So, um, you can RSVP to me, you can respond here, you can um, use my email address, you can text me, um, most people are texting me, and it is going to be a holiday event, and when I say holiday event, I don't just mean Christmas, uh, I'm going to use new product from the mini catalog, which I'm going to start showing some of that in a second. Um, it also includes um, a light breakfast, it's probably going to be something like you know, muffins and, or donuts. Um, I know, too much sweets, but um, coffee. And then lunch will probably be like chicken salad sandwiches, uh, chips, cookies, stuff like that. So um, I hope that you're interested. If it's a success, we'll do it again. Um, let's take it one at a time. <laughs> But um, I'm excited. Um, and my girlfriend owns this cool um, venue and she offered it. And I'm like, yes, yes, let's do it. So uh, mark your calendar. It is Saturday, October 7th. Um, and that is from 9 to 4. And as I said, it's in Dittmer, Missouri. The actual place called is called Grubville, but it's actually in Dittmer. So um, the downside is there's only one bathroom upstairs. And if you're not able to do stairs, you wouldn't probably be interested because the bathroom is not um, handicap accessible. Okay, so let me know if you're interested. Once it fills, I'll be taking, um, you know, like a waiting list. But if, um, if you're interested, let me know. Okay, and it's open to everybody. Okay, so if you are in my downline, you're more than, uh, you know, welcome to come. If you are, uh, haven't seen you in a long time, uh, one of my old customers, please sign up. It'll be fun. And um, we'll have big tables for everybody to stamp at. We'll have a lot of, uh, if you want to bring snacks, you can bring snacks for yourself. So it's just going to be kind of a relaxed atmosphere. Okay, so let's start talking about the mini catalog. Have you gotten your mini catalog in the mail? Okay, so this mini catalog is awesome. Um, I always say, how does Stampin' Up! think of more and more product that I love? I don't know. But today we're going to talk about all the product that I received. Now, I'm not one of those people that buys everything in the mini catalog. I'm just not. I, I order the things I love, um, and then I add to it <laughs> as I go along. So, you know, September, October, November, December, that's a long, that's four months. That's a long time to use product. Um, but after December, or actually January 3rd, which is the last day you could order, um, you know, some of this, most of this product is going to retire. So if you love it, then you need to have it. I have a lot of people who are dying because they didn't get um, the dyes from Celebration last year the little RV and the little Christmas trees and all that. They want that so bad. Well, it's retired, so it's hard to get. I mean, you can buy it maybe somewhere, but you're going to pay premium for it. Just buy it. If you love it, just buy it. But my theory is don't buy it all at once. Just buy a little bit. Enjoy it. Buy a little bit more because, you know, we've got lots of holidays coming up. So let's talk about what I got from the mini catalog, and I'm going to show it to you. Okay, and so... 
I'm going to talk about Halloween first. Okay, so I am probably, I love Halloween. I love fall. Um, I'm not into spooky, but um, these little skeletons just called out to me. I actually saw a card when I was uh, in Norway on the cruise, and when I saw this card, I was like, oh dear, I think I have to have those little skeletons because there's this little dog and cat. I mean, really? A skeleton dog and cat? How cute. Um, you know, you could use this bonjour. You could use that on a cute card. Happy Halloween. And then the dies, the bag of bones dies. Um, I have to tell you, there are 31 dies in here and they are everything from you know, the full skeleton to all the pieces. There's a cowboy hat. There's a top hat. There's boots. There's, oh my gosh, um, everything. There's a little, um, is that a guitar? Oh, that's a, there's a rose. There's a heart, the dog and cat, the bones, the everything, tennis shoes. I mean, it's just adorable. And so, yes, obviously I got bag of bones. And I am, we are going to use this at the event, the Stamp Fest, okay? So we are gonna be making two Halloween cards. So if you hate Halloween, <laughs> I would hope you'd still make the cards and give them away or whatever. But most, I mean, that fence, so cute. Okay, so if you're gonna make Halloween cards, you need Halloween paper. And so I got the paper, Them Bones paper. And this reminds me of the Cheerful Daisies paper, right? Where you can cut it all apart and make tons of cards. But look what else is in here. I mean, I'm just going to, I'm not going to open it and flip through every page like I see other people do. Okay. I'm just going to flip real quick and I'm going to pull out little pieces of it. This one says, you know, boo. Okay. This one is the skeletons. So if you get the dies, you can still cut out the skeletons without the stamp set. This one's very fallish. This one is, you know, tombstones, but cute, not scary, right? This one, plaid, oh my gosh, that's so me. This one is some more skeletons. They're kind of funny. They're doing different things like exercising. How cute would that be on a little cute little card? Like exercising, look, two together. <laughs> little bones, all different bones. And then this one you could make actually make like six cards or more out of this just cut it in half and cut it up adorable this one very it's kitty cats can you see that little kitty cats if you're a cat person super cute this one plain and this one is bats different bats and so the stamp set also has these bats and this was kind of funny obviously that is a bat but that's kind of an unusual bat right but look, it's on the paper, so it is a bat. Okay, so that is the paper. So this one's called Them Bones, and it's, um, you know, you get 12 sheets. It's awesome, okay? So we have that, and then I got the, I'm, um, I kind of really like masks, and I got the Abundant Beauty Decorative Masks, and look, you get seven, okay? So you get this one, yeah, like a um, houndstooth. You get snowflakes. And you get a fall one. So look, you could make three different seasons. And then also, the other four layer. It's sunflowers. And they layer. So this is the new thing, I think, is I've seen these a lot of different places. You lay them down in different sections. So you get the sunflowers. And then you lay down and you get the centers of the sunflowers colored in. And then you get some detail on those centers. And then you get the leaves. So, yes, this is super cute. And they show you, you know, they show you which way to put them. They got these little notches on the sides. So they show you, you know, you can't mix them up. Put them the wrong way. Okay. So masks are super reasonable. And um, I keep them forever because... I can't part with them. They're great for scrapbooking, any kind of card making, right? Okay, so that's the Halloween stuff I got. That's all the Halloween stuff I got. But I did get some cute fall stuff. And the fall stuff that I got, I picked a bundle that I really liked. 
and it's this autumn leaves. Okay, so this is a photopolymer set and it's got 12 stamps in it. And um, I love the way it's light and dark. I love the sentiments. I love these little tiny sentiments that say, you know, for, for all you do today and every day to have you as a friend. Oh my gosh, so cute. Could use that year round. Um, all of these stamps are adorable. Then the dies that coordinate with it, of course I had to have the dies. So I only bought one fall bundle uh, so far. And it's this one. And this has um, 17 dies in it. Okay, so obviously it cuts out all the leaves. But then you get those bonus, those bonus dies. And it's these dies, like this one. And, you know, these little tiny ones that will cut out these, make little tiny strips for your sentiments. Just so cute. And so that is the bundle that I got. All right. And then I had to get some paper. So the paper that I chose, and I wasn't sure when I ordered it, but it's called All About Autumn, and it's a six by six pack, okay? And you get a wide variety. But when I opened it, I'm like, yes, I think I need another pack. And I ordered another pack just today. This piece, that, okay, is the back. And then we have this piece. And then the sweater, like or like an afghan or a sweater, is the back. That one has um. So this is specialty paper, right? Because it has the, uh, it actually has the uh, embossing in it. Okay, so that. And then look at this one. Mm, gorgeous. I'm so ready for fall, guys. This one, love that color. Uh, that would be moody mauve, wood grain. Can't go wrong with wood grain. That one. An air, aerial shot of leaves in the fall. That looks like our, our, our area in the fall. I think we're going to have a really pretty fall this year with all the rain we've had. And then this. And then the pumpkins. Hello. So we will be using this at the event, right? And look at the books. Ah. Oh. Oh. Love it. I love books. Okay. Leaves. Crunchy leaves. This one. So, you know, it's diverse. It's not just all fall. I mean, you can make that anything. That's like a, I don't know, like a, a couch cushion. Or an ottoman. That one. Some more leaves. So, look at the diversity you get in here. And more books. Ah. <sighs> Okay, so you get 48 of these sheets. So you get four of each. Okay, so you get this one, you get four of these. So you get the back and the front, obviously. Okay, so I recently had somebody ask me this. Why does Stampin' Up! make all of our paper double-sided? Because you can't decide which side to use. And she hates that she has to cover up one side. And I'm like, I never really thought of it that way. Um, I love that it's two-sided because it's nice and thick and heavy. It's not cheap. Um, and also, I mean, if you don't like care for one side that much, you'll always love the other side. But I kind of get what she was saying, that you have to cover up one side and you love them both. So I, <laughs> I've never really been asked that before. But, um, you know, it's a valid question, I think. Okay, and then to go with my fall stuff I got this ribbon. And uh, you're probably thinking we already have black gingham ribbon. Uh, we don't have this one because this one is wider and it's very, it's vanilla. Okay. So it's wider than the other one. The other one's narrow quarter inch. This is three eighths of an inch and this is black and vanilla with a little edge. So you could still color it, right? You can still take your markers or your blends and color it or a sponge, but if you don't, it's so rich. And I love the vanilla because it does look a little more fallish. Okay. And then I got these. These are the adhesive back speckled dots. And um, I actually ordered another one of these too because I'm thinking I don't have enough for the event. But look at these. They're so gorgeous. They have little speckles in them. Huh. 
different, right? I don't know how Stampin' Up! thinks of this stuff. Always something different. Okay, so you get a lot of these. You get actually get 160 of the little dots. Okay, and then I got the embossing folder. Distress Tile 3D Embossing Folder. And I probably should open these because I hate that sound on a video of opening things, but I have to. Okay, so this is a 3D embossing folder, and it's distressed tile. I love anything distressed. So 3D, right? You need to use your gray plate when you use this with your cut and emboss. The one and four, that's how you use a 3D folder. Okay, it's gorgeous. Yeah, we will be using all of this product at the event. Okay, now we have Christmas. And I did order a little more Christmas stuff than anything else. Okay, so let's just say, what bundle did I order? I ordered Marius Trees. Okay, so this is a 16 stamp set, photopolymer, two step, has all the little ornaments you can put on your tree. It has the saying, and so they're a little bigger than they look. Okay, so that looks kind of small, but when you look at it, it's bigger. Okay, so this is a photopolymer set, and um, yeah, the sentiments are very, very nice holiday Christmas set sen uh, sentiments, love and joy. So, you know, even if you don't want to really say Merry Christmas, you could still say that. Okay, although I love to say Merry Christmas, so uh, I'm just saying. And then here's the dies. Okay, so there are actually 26 dies. And these cut out the tree. They cut out, make you a tag, um, a tree skirt, uh, the you know, the bottom of the tree, the ornaments. And look, they give you more than one. Hello, I love that. If you don't, if you want to put ornaments on your tree, you can stamp a whole bunch and cut them all out at once. I love it. Now, we have the toppers for the tree. Okay, but look at this. We have these. These are called adhesive back star trinkets, and you get um, 35 in here. Okay, so there's two sizes: the little tiny ones and the bigger ones. So wouldn't that be so cute on the top of that tree? Yeah, I had to get these, and they're gold. And you know that I like gold. I'm I'm kind of into gold more than silver, but whatever. I like both. Whatever you like, you could do. If you wanted to do silver, you just cut them out yourself. Okay, so we have that. We have the trinkets. Okay, I'm not telling you page numbers. If you got your, hopefully you got your mini catalog. If you haven't gotten your mini catalog yet, it's coming. Okay, I know I've had a few people tell me that they've received theirs. Okay, then I got another stamp set. I did get this. And it's Cheers to the Season, and there's only um, five stamps in here. And this is a red rubber set. Okay, so uh, the reason I got it is the diversity of it. It has the So Thankful, right, the leaf, but it also has these. And that could be like a, a New Year's or a wedding. You know, you could do two of these, and it'd be like a wedding uh, toast. Um, this one, Tis the Season, very obviously holiday. The little dots, you could make that coming, like the little bubbles coming out of the uh, champagne. This is never go wrong with that. So I had to get that. There's no dies for this set, okay? Just the stamp set. And um, so I got that. What can I say? And I did get uh, some goodies, okay? So... This is called Blooming Pearls, okay? And there are 120 in here. Um, and look at them. They are so different. They're all different. And I love that, that there's diversity to them. Okay, and then I also got these. And there's actually, how many in here? It doesn't say. That's weird. It doesn't say how many. Faceted Gems Trio Pack. I'll have to count them. There's a lot. So there's three different colors. I don't know if you can see. Let me open it. Because there are three different colors and one's hidden. Okay. So this one is more of a, I guess that's kind of a pale blue. And then the plain and then the light blue. And I will write my colors on here. I'll write on the back the, the three colors because I like to know what's in there. 
Okay, and then this one. Okay, these are sequins, self-stick sequins. And with this one, you get 240 adhesive back glitter sequins. Again, three colors, two different sizes. Mm-hmm, very, very Christmassy. Okay, and then I got some ribbon. And this is the um, silver and white uh, sheer ribbon. Take this off. And again, you get nice qual quantity. You get 10 yards. Okay, and I love that because when I make cards, especially if I'm going to make them at this event, I can't get this off. Um, I don't want to run out of ribbon, so I'm glad that I that they we don't get you know three yards or something goofy like that. Can I get this off of here? Maybe not. Yeah. Um, ten yards is a lot, right? When you're talking feet to make cards. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This is really on there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it off. I think I need some scissors. Well, anyway, there it is. It's got the little silver border edging on it, and it's sheer. I really want to show it to you. I don't have scissors handy, so I can't. But anyway, I'm sure you'll see me use it in the future. Man, they got that on there tight. How do you, um, here's a question for you while I'm working this. How do you, um, yay, how do you stop your ribbon? Okay, so I keep mine on a ribbon holder, and it I, this bugs me, right? All this tails everywhere. So I just use little stick pins, and I just put a little stick pin right here, and that keeps it from unraveling. But look at that. See, I had to show it to you. Beautiful. Okay, very Christmassy. I also got these loose holly gems and sequins. Okay, just saying. There's a million of them in here. I don't even know how many. I don't think they tell us how many. How about a million? And they're all different. Um, look, there's notes. There's holly bear. There's holly. There's berries. And oh, so cute. So the berries are kind of three dimensional, and the rest of them are kind of flat. But the berries are three-dimensional. And you can, um, you know, use that with your little glue or whatever. Just to put them on there. Or perfect for a shaker card. Okay. So there's those. Um, I also got another embossing folder. I got Christmas Tidings. So this one is not a 6 by 6 folder. This one is a like a 4 by 6 folder. Still will cut, you know, will cut out, uh, will emboss for your card. But it's not as big. And it's not a 3D. Okay, so can you see it? Oh, you can look at it on here. Look, it's got all these little words. It's got a little gingerbread man. It's got ornaments, um, holly and berry, a poinsettia, plus all the words. So I'm thinking this would be so, so cute. Uh, it says reindeer. So, so cute if you just go over it gently with a sponge or your blending brush. And uh, it makes a, the words all pop. Mm-hmm. So, yes, that's another embossing folder. Then I got a lot of paper and Christmas paper. And a lot of this is for the event. So you will be using this if you sign up. But I'm just going to show it to you real quick. So this one is called Berry Christmas. It's obviously a 12 by 12 pack. Um, it had I did not get the Polar Bear stamp set or dies or punch. But I got the paper because of the diversity of it. And look, it's very tight. Look at that. So, um, just so you can see some of these, let me pull them out. That's the back of that piece. Okay, so look at that. It's so cute. It may make me want the polar bear, but I'm not getting it yet. I'm gonna wait and see. That's the end the back. Okay, and then we have the reindeer with the polar bear and the um, seal and the Christmas trees. Okay, and then there's the back. I love the diversity of it. You know, you don't have to use a whole big piece of it. You can just use a smaller piece and kind of make your card that way. This one, very blustery. The back side. 
And then this one is snowflakes. Love that since I got this, I have that snowflake um, um, mask. And this one, look, the prints, very cute. And then this one, again, so different in the presents. So you can cut those up. You can use, they're all separate, so you can actually cut them out one at a time and they'd last forever. Okay, so that's the Berry, um, the Berry Christmas Designer Series paper. I try to keep it in the sleeve, okay? And then I got this paper. This is totally not cutesy, but totally gorgeous. Okay, and this one is called Winter Meadow. And um, here's the diff what it looks like. I'm gonna pull these out. Okay, so we have this piece, and then the back side. Okay, and then this piece. Now look at this piece. This would make like a gorgeous Christmas card. You could split it down and make your Christmas cards with that. It's almost like a silhouette. And there's the back. And I have this piece. This kind of reminds me of uh, an old time movie. Okay, and like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, I think is what I'm thinking. This piece, oh wait, sorry. This is the back of that piece. Yeah, and then look at that. Hmm. I don't know, they have, Stampin' Up! has amazing artists. And then this piece, I don't know if that might be my favorite. The little Christmas trees, like from far away. And then the back. So that paper is more elegant. Not as cutesy as the bear paper, but elegant. And then I got this one. Okay, and this one is called Joy of Christmas. Okay, and again, um, you get the 12 sheets. Okay. So we have this, and then there's wood grain on the back. Okay. And then there's the plaid. Mm -hmm. Oops. Okay. Yeah, that's right. The plaid, and then the, a darker wood grain on the back. And then we have this one. And then the brown paper with the notes. Okay, push these in. And then this one, very artsy, with the red back. Wow, that's beautiful, stunning. And then the red plaid. They must have known that I love plaid. And then more notes, little tiny notes on the back. And then look at this one. And then that's the back of it. Okay. And so um, this one coordinates with this paper. And this is called Joyful. And you only get um, eight sheets of this, okay? So there's no backing to it. Well, this would be the perfect uh, paper for the, my friend that is worried about wasting the back. So this is specialty paper, okay? So you get two of each of these. So these are the four. This one, they're all embossed. So there they are. Can you see all of them? What diversity in that. It's so gorgeous. Okay, so that is, I think that's everything that I that I got. And as I said, I will be um, probably getting more at a later date. But I am not going to rush because I'm crooked. I am not going to rush because... I like to use my product and if I don't, if I get too much, I don't use it. I'm overwhelmed. And I think that's called, um, there's a name for it. A uh, new, what do they call it? It's a cute name. I think it's NSS, new stamping syndrome or new. St I can't think what it's called, but I heard it recently and I was laughing my head off because it's true. If you get too much product, you'll be overwhelmed. And I think I have a lot, right? I have a lot, but you know, I have an event to plan for. So I hope you're interested in the event. I am totally excited about it. Um, I think it'll be awesome. It'll be beautiful in October. I'm not gonna be so hot. 
Um, and I just am so thankful for my friend offering her, her venue for us. And um, I'm so appreciative of all my customers that are interested in coming and it's gonna be a blast. So sign up uh, once it's filled it's filled and uh, like I said, I'll take a waiting list, but you know, if people don't make their payment two weeks before, I'll figure they're, you know, they're out, out, bowing out and then I'll go to the waiting list. So thank you today for watching. Um, and my name's Travis Bossler, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in St. Louis, Missouri. And have a great um, rest of your weekend. Bye.